Here we have another function notation, plug points into equations question. The difference now, the thing that makes this harder, is that instead of being given x, we are being given y. And so there are a couple of ways to handle this. Um, I would just say, all right, let's plug this in for the y component. Now I know there is no y there, but you have to be able to move between x and y's and function notation pretty seamlessly. So the other clue is they're asking for x. So we're gonna to need to structure this thing so that x comes out of this. So uh, I would do 48 is equal to eight square root x. Now I always tell my students to understand germdas, which is my version of pemdas. It's, it's just a little bit more comprehensive. But when we have, um, uh, I guess, algebra, we have to go through it in reverse. So this is what throws people off. So if we're going, if we're just doing arithmetic, we are gonna go through G, E, R, and kind of go in the order. Um, but if we're doing algebra, algebra, or um, if you're solving, we're gonna go in reverse. And the way to know that you're solving is if you're ever trying to move things across and equals, that means you're doing algebra. So that means we're gonna have to go in reverse. Now there's no addition or subtraction, so that doesn't apply. But we do have multiplication or division. We have this, um, eight that is being multiplied by the square root of x. And we know we have to deal with that multiplication before we deal with the r, which stands for the radical. So we have to deal with that first. So 48 uh, divided by eight, we should now have radical x is equal to six. And here's where people are gonna mess up. I mean, I guess you can't because the, the answers are not really gonna let you mess up. But if we're doing the radical, if we're trying to get rid of the radical, we need to use its opposite. We need to use an exponent. That's why with germ dust, everything pairs up. So we're gonna square both sides. The squaring cancels out the root, leaves us with just a plain old x, and six squared is 36. So that is choice C, and that is the answer. Um, I definitely think you need to know how to do all this stuff. You have to definitely recognize when you are just simply plugging a point in. You also have to recognize when it's function notation, whether the point you're given is an X or a Y. And as equations get more complicated, you have to be comfortable with germ dots, the order of operations, how do you move things. And I just recommend you have scrap paper, show your work that if you're gonna mess up, it's gonna be because you did it in your head or in the calculator. And so write it down so that you minimize the chance of losing points on something that's kind of easy uh, for the for even this section this late in the section.